You just finished taking photographs for your first project. You're ecstatic to see the outcome of your shoot, but you're confused on how to get your image off your SD card and onto your computer. To do this, we're going to be using Adobe Bridge. This software allows you to easily organize, rename, and edit your image. So let's open Adobe Bridge. If you've never used Bridge before, your workspace will look similar to this, although you can alter your workspace to move panels wherever you feel is comfortable. I'm going to show you how I like to set up mine. First, I swap where my content and preview panels are. The main reason I use Adobe Bridge is so I can easily view my photographs so the preview panel is always the largest. To me, the published panel is not important, so I'm going to go ahead and right-click on that panel and close it. Next, I'm going to make my content panel thinner but longer. You can do this by dragging the corners of the panel. I'm also going to go ahead and close out some other unnecessary panels such as export and the collection panels. Leave me only with the filter panel. I'm also going to go ahead and make this panel smaller. During this process, if you prefer the default setup or simply want to start fresh, you can reset your workspace by going to the window, workspace, and then reset workspace. Now that your workspace is all set up, let's go ahead and upload your images to our computer. After putting your camera's SD card into your computer, we're going to go up to the file in Adobe Bridge. Under this, you'll select Photos from Camera. A new window will appear in the viewer and we'll go ahead and set our preferences. Under Advanced Options, you're going to turn on Convert to DNG. Then, under Apply Metadata, you will be using the Basic Metadata option. For Creator, you're going to put your first and last name. Then under Copyright, you'll type in the copyright symbol, and then on Mac, the sh keyboard shortcut is Option G. The year, your name, and then all rights reserved. After this is set, we can finally upload our image. If your photographs aren't appearing on the right of the photo downloader, click Get Photos From and see if your SD card is registering. If the name of your SD card isn't appearing, click Refresh List. If your SD still isn't showing up, take your card out of your computer, then put it in again. Then click Refresh List. After you select your SD card, you're going to be able to upload your photographs or only select a few. Under Save Options, you are able to select the location you want these images to upload to by clicking Choose. I'm going to go ahead and choose my external hard drive and then a previously created folder to upload to. You also have the option to create a subfolder from Photo Downloader, however, I recommend creating the folders before uploading, so I'm going to choose None. You also have the option to rename the selection of images that you'll be uploading. Choose something specific so when you're looking for these photographs in a few days, they're easy to find. I'm going to go ahead and name mine while also having the starting number be 0. Underneath the name, you'll be able to see an example of what the first image will be called. Now, you can go ahead and click Media. This is what's going to start the uploading process. Depending on how many images you're uploading will determine on how long this will take. Once the process is done, Adobe Bridge should automatically bring to the folder that you uploaded your images to. By using the arrow keys or by selecting individual images with your mouse, you'll be able to navigate your freshly uploaded photographs. Today, you learned how to upload your photos using Adobe Bridge.